you're obviously your senior year, you're a tri-captain. How anxious were you to really get this season going, get into this preseason camp? Uh, extremely anxious. You know, I mean, we came here over the summer. You know, we had about 75 guys up here uh, throughout the summertime working hard. And, and you know, I, we had no doubts that the guys back home were doing the same thing. And, you know, Coach Potts was getting us, getting us ready to go and getting our conditioning and everything prepared for the preseason. And, you know, w once the time finally came, I think everyone was just excited to put the pads on and, and, and start trying to, you know, strive towards that goal, which is ultimately the championship come the end of the year. Let's touch on that real quick because now you're into camp two weeks into camp. Right. How much did those summer workouts pay, summer workouts pay off? They were instrumental. Yeah. I think I think for every guy on the team, they were an instrumental part of getting everybody ready to go. I mean, as far as your conditioning is concerned, you know, we're out here for for three hours during our one a days, and you know, when, when we have two a days, I mean, obviously nothing more needs to be said about that. You're out here for two practices a day. You know, you guys are running around all practice long, and I think you know having Coach Potts up here really working us hard and pushing us to our limits both physically and mentally has really prepared us for the grind of what a season is going to bring so you know i think those summer workouts are a real instrumental part for for what makes us a successful football team down the road you went through a first full season if you will last last year mm -hmm. what did you learn most from that season um, well, I think the experiences that I gained last year were more so that I just I just had to be more of a leader and execute the offense to a T. You know, I, I think that you know when it comes down to the bottom line, Coach Fine and Coach T and you know, all of our coaches preach every single day. You know, all eleven in have to be in on every single play, and I think that that's that's where we kind of had some letdowns last year. You know, myself being the first one that you know needs to be accountable for those type of things. You know, we have to have all eleven guys making the right decisions and making the right reads on every single play, or else we're not going to be successful. So. You know, again, that starts with me, and you know, I have, I have no doubt that the other 10 guys that are lining up next to me on any given play are going to do the same thing and, and take pride in making sure that we get that done. But you know, I think that, that just, just gaining the, the experience to know that you know, we were that close last year to, to being a 7-4 and four football team or an 8-3 and three football team rather than 4-7. and seven. So you know, it's going to take you know, those couple of plays for us to make sure that we execute with all 11 guys and, and push through that wall so that you know, we can become as successful as we want to be. And learning from last year, what was your – biggest improvement what do you feel more comfortable with in the right now? well I think just my overall knowledge of the offense I think you know that's, that's first and foremost as a quarterback you, know, you have to know what's going on you have to be able to understand it and know what the defense is giving you and be able to take what the defense is giving you and not try and force things you know I think I had a tendency last year to maybe force things now and again through you know a couple more picks than I would have liked to had we had a lot more turnovers as an offense that, than coach fine would certainly like um, so this year, you know, I think my comfort with the offense is, is going to lead to us being more successful as a unit. I think, you know, all the guys around me are also, you know, we had some young offensive linemen last year, you know, Pat only being a junior, Luke only being a sophomore, Brad only being a junior. You know, we have some guys stepping up in the receiving core as well, you know, so it's, it's, it's just a matter of us all being comfortable and being on the same page that are going to lead to us being able to execute and, and not turn the ball over because in football, the most important thing is the football. So we have to make sure that, you know, we can continuously have that in our possession and, and do the right things with it. I know you're a quarterback and it kind of lends itself to a leadership role, mm -hmm. but now you're a senior, you're a tri-captain, and you've been out here at these preseason camp, pre camp practices, you've been a lot more vocal right. this year. You, you, the, you and the other two tri-captains kind of feed off of each other. Talk right. about your relationship. Well, I think the three of us uh, blend probably better than any than any group of captains that I've been around you know I think but th that, that doesn't just stop with the three of us you know again you know we've been preaching you know I've, I've heard it numerous times about how we have a small senior class you know we don't we don't have a lot of guys but you know we're, we're a strong senior class and we're a close senior class so I think the leadership trickles right on down through the rest of our seniors but you know as far as our relationship goes you know Darius is a very vocal defensive leader you know he, he's a guy that's that's always going to be pumped up always going to be ready to play you know he's a, he's a very good football player so you know he can feed off of his example leading off to other people obviously Rick you know everybody everybody knows Rick is the hardest worker on our team you know he, he's just a guy that you know goes that extra step goes that extra mile and, and guys really learn and, and feed from that type of energy that he brings you know he's a little bit less vocal but when he needs to be he will be and you know as far as I'm concerned you know like you said as a quarterback you always need to be a little bit vocal in the huddle and and have guys know that you're going to be that calming presence when things are kind of you know struggling a little bit but I think our team as a whole is really feeding off of the fact that coach Potts has preached to us that w when we face it Adversity is when we're going to see how strong we are. So, you know, that's really going to be a big telltale sign for us this year is, is me being able to, to take on the blunt of that force and, and portray to these guys that we're going to be okay. A little over two weeks to William & Mary. You guys will get a quote-unquote bye week, but certain things will start to prepare you now for yeah. William & Mary. You're nearing the end. 
preseason camp right. classes will start. You'll get into more of a routine. Right. What are the biggest things that you see from an offensive standpoint that need to happen before William and Mary? Again, you know, I think it's just preaching the all eleven in. You know, we we had our we had our big eighty play scrimmage the other day. You know, we weren't as successful as we would have liked to have been. You know, we, we looked kind of sloppy, to be quite honest, as an offense. And again, that starts with me. And I, you know, I wasn't making the right decisions and and the right plays with the football. And that that's really what needs to be the main focus for myself to make sure that I know exactly what's going on and I can, you know execute the plan every single time we go out there but I think as we near closer to the season and as as we're getting closer to September 8th we really need to understand that for us to go down there and and beat a team that's a very good football team you know they're play, playing a very good conference we have to make sure that we're executing the plan with all 11 guys on every single play we're holding on to the football and we're making the right reads and you know coach fine always preaches a term for our offense it's fight for each other you know we're making great high speed decisions and we're finishing in a dominating position and those are things that we really need to do in order to be successful as an offense. Keep doing it, buddy. We're looking forward no to it. No question. Appreciate it. Thanks, sir.